All right, so here is the new Agent Liberty from DC Comics. McFarlane Toys, this is a must-have. There's also the San Diego Comic-Con version with the lighter suit. I prefer the Midnight Black suit with the yellow. Really adds a nice aura to it. Nice artwork of him as well. His alter ego is Benjamin Lockwood. He used to work for the CIA. Those that are not familiar with him, I briefly read some of the comics. Close affiliation with Superman. Worked a lot with Superman as well. Um, nothing, you know what? He's got no powers. He just has tactical military background CIA. And he basically has a suit that can create a force field, deflect bullets. He's your ordinary kind of superhero guy, but I like him. He looks cool. So let's... Unbox him there, as you guys can see him there with the shield. The only thing I would say is his shield could be a little bit more decorated, but I guess he went more plain with it. I guess that's what Benjamin Lockwood wanted to do. But his suit is fantastic. And I'm telling you right now, this is a sleeper pick for McFarlane Toys. This is a nicely sculpted figure, man. The paint application on it, honestly, I saw no blemishes at all. None. Zero. Zero. And I mean zero. And as usual, guys... Action figure stands. Yes, action figure stands are critical with McFarlane toys, and you can put them in dynamic poses. And no, they don't come with guns, but that's why McFarlane leaves a little bit of a trigger hand on his hands there. And if you have some accessories, you can accessorize them and do what I'm doing here and put him in some dynamic poses there because in the comics, he did have weapons, right? So there you guys go. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that. I love this pose. This is what I left him in. This is my favorite pose. I couldn't believe I got it in that fantastic looking pose and turn to the side a bit nice waist swivel too that you can do a lot with them he's got a good knee crunch um you know he's not top heavy like some McFarlane toys are top heavy he's well proportioned and you could tell this is one of the more newer uh molds that McFarlane toys is using so it wasn't difficult to pose it wasn't rigid or anything like that it's like yeah okay i can bend his arms i could do full waist swivel full head swivel Good posability with them, good weight on them too, good mass, not, like I said, not top heavy, just well proportioned. So when you put them on the action figure stand, you can do these flight poses with, like you see me doing right now. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's have a look now at the jetpack. Jetpack's a little bit finicky, um, kind of like Boba Fett. You know, he's got a jetpack. He's got the capabilities of flying. I mean, he does, he's not a metahuman, right? He doesn't have superpowers like Superman and he can fly, right? But... He is pretty creative, so he created a little jetpack there. So these military guys, I'm telling you, man, they have, uh, you know, they're smart, right? T tactical, right? Just, that's why we like Batman, because he's very tactical. And there's the back of him there as well, too. Great colors on it. Like I said, the paint application on this figure is immaculate. Very well done. I'm telling you, man, McFarlane Toys 2024 is the year of McFarlane. This is his best year uh, with figures. Uh, posability and just coming out with all the second third tier characters from dc comics which we absolutely love all right so good job McFarlane. you did an outstanding job with this one check your local GameStop if you guys can get it um shop around honestly this is a cool figure to put on display i'm very happy i got it all right take care guys we'll see you next video